to a school controversy in Galveston County. A gun found in a district vehicle during a sports related trip off campus. A lot of parents really upset tonight because students were transported in that vehicle. That gun and where it was found is the talk of a small community in Galveston County. High Island on Bolivar Peninsula has a population of about 500. Many of those residents are expected to be at a school board meeting tonight where that gun will be discussed. Roseanne Aragon is live there tonight with the story. Roseanne. That's right. Parents are telling Channel 2 News that it was a student that found that gun. The district won't confirm it, but what they will say is that the incident happened about three weeks ago. And now these parents are asking me why they weren't told any sooner. Something a parent never wants to hear. A gun found inside a school vehicle. As a parent, would you have wanted to know? Yes. Why? For the safety of my kids here. Officials with the High Island Independent School District confirm a gun was found in the vehicle that was used to transport the baseball team. It happened about three weeks ago, but in this small town K through 12 school with a graduating class of 16 people, word only started getting out recently. Maybe yesterday? No, I found out about it yesterday. Family members of the students are saying a student found the gun. The district won't confirm, but the attorney representing the district sent a statement to Channel 2 saying a district employee accidentally left it in that vehicle. If my little brother would have found it, I probably would have been a little upset. The employee had the gun lawfully and got the OK from the state and the Board of Trustees to carry it on district property and on any school related activities. But that's still upsetting to some family. But if some other little kid would have found it and start playing with it, then it could have turned bad. Many family members are now wondering, how did this happen? The issue was not letting people know. That's my only problem. The response from the district's attorney, High Island ISD wants parents, students, and the community to know that student safety is of paramount importance. The district is taking appropriate action to ensure appropriate safety measures are in place so that this type of mistake won't happen again. Now, it is notable that the Galveston County Sheriff's Office was called to investigate but didn't take any further action when they found out that the gun was legal. Now the Board of Trustees right now is having a special session. They're an executive session right now. The agenda says they're expected to discuss communication between board members and the superintendent. Parents are again expected to attend. You see some cars there behind me. We'll have the latest on that at 10. Reporting live in Hive Island, I'm Rosanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.